Paint protection film, putting a stop to our beautiful cars getting stone chips, scratches, any sort of paint damage or venereal disease. Yep, I get asked about this stuff all the time, particularly now that Porsche are even offering this service direct from the factory. And yes, I add this to every car I own. In fact, the last car that I owned that was running around with its paint all naked and unprotected was this little love of my life all the way back in 2008. And how did that pan out for me? Well, I turned down the 2500 paint protection film offered from the dealer. Meh, I said, what a scam. Only then to accumulate over $10,000 worth of paint damage over the five years I owned that car. I was forever having it touched up, repainted, stone chips removed, scratches buffed. Ah, it was a nightmare. Never again. So now, and with every car since, I have wrapped and driven worry-free. Even going to the expense of completely covering my 2017 Carrera 4S bumper to bumper. So today I'm at Darien Detail here in Connecticut to get my current ride protected. Because if there's one certainty in the universe, that is that Porsche cars attract stone chips like acne on teenage virgin. Oh young Nick, the things I need to warn you about. Anyhow, while we all agree that paint protection film is a must to keep your road queen remaining factory new, not all paint protection installers are created equal. Which is why I'm talking today to Dirk, who's more than a little OCD about this stuff. Which is good, because it means I don't have to be. We're going to start today by looking at how things were done back in the bad old days. Yeah, so we're going to have a look at this uh, this older 911, this is 997, and it's got the uh, older paint protection film from, what do you think? Yeah, this is more of this is more of what was kind of standard practice 10, 15 years ago. Yep. So the film itself is of much lower quality, but also the installation styles. Um, back, you know, 10 years ago, a lot of people were doing these partial hoods, where you're actually only covering the leading 18 to 24 inches. There's a couple downsides to that. Obviously, first and foremost, you can get you know chips behind mm -hmm. where the actual film is. But also just uh, you end up with this unsightly edge going halfway across the hood. And this film is on the older side of things, so you can see there's dirt starts to and collect along. And you can along. see these halfway, even as far back as only five or six years ago, I've seen cars like that. Yeah. So you don't do this at all anymore, right? Uh, very, very rarely, only yeah. by special request. Right. So, you know, 99% of the cars we work on, if we're going to be putting film on the, uh, you know, the, the front of the car, we're going to be doing full coverage over yeah. the entire hood. Because it actually looks... A different color doesn't it between the this film has yeah. definitely seen better days um, so this is uh, I, I don't know exactly the, the manufacturer we didn't put this on but the mm. this film you can see it's got a lot of staining it's a little bit yellow it's got a color difference so you can see on the silver car and so also don't get this with the new yeah yeah the newer films yeah. um, expel ultimate some of the different manufacturers um, are going to hold up a lot better over time. So they're going to look better when they're, they're brand new on the car, but also five years down the line, they're going to look much better than what you see here. Yeah, mm -hmm. very interesting. So good to see you. So Dirk, the, uh, I noticed that all the Porsche sports cars get a standard bit of paint protection film on the back. What are the shortcomings of those? Um, well, the, the, the original film that comes with Porsches, it's a nice gesture that they give you, you know, some coverage in this area, especially now that all the 992s are going to the wide body cars. It's definitely an area that's pretty exposed. Um, but the downsides are going to be that the film itself is of lower quality from the factory. So generally after a few years, these will start to discolor and yellow. And obviously you can see how bad it can get. Um, and then, you know, some of the other downsides are that Although it is good to have something there, it's certainly better than nothing. Um, what we do find is even after just a few thousand miles on these cars, um, if you look closely, especially on a darker colored vehicle, you'll notice that there's going to be some sand speckling in front of it and around all the edges where it's not fully covering. Yeah. Um, so definitely on the sports cars, we usually recommend at a minimum doing the full nose and also the rocker panels um, where we could either wrap this entire complete panel or to save a little bit of cost if the customer would like more protection than this, we can do um, just the lower rocker panel from here down, and we would cover this full um, panel in this area. Uh, so you wouldn't have that yeah. kind of oddly shaped outline. Yeah, that looks totally out of place, doesn't it? Yeah, especially on a, especially on a silver car, yeah. you really see the yeah. yellow color difference. So one thing that's become more and more popular over the years that we do a lot of these days is wrapping entire cars. Um, now obviously some of the parts of the car like the nose and the rocker panels are going to be important to protect from stone chips, but you can generally think of the film as uh, just a sacrificial layer. So yeah. it's going to work well 
over the entire vehicle as well. Um, not so much for stone chips. The chances of you getting a stone chip on the top of your rear quarter panel or you know the, the engine cover on a 911 is pretty rare. Um, but but this it is, is one piece. Yeah. For this whole door. Correct. Including in here. Yes. So you cut out this intricate piece. piece That's here. all hand trimmed. That's yeah. hand trimmed there, right? Mm -hmm. So one of the things we like to do when we are wrapping full cars. Um, and we have different options as to how to do it. Right. Um, but this particular customer wanted the most invisible wrap possible. So we've done some disassembly here, um, yep. like removing the door mirror or the side view mirrors. We've taken the door handles out. And that just allows us to get a, a very seamless fit and finish right. uh, around those areas. So, so you'd normally have a seam just yeah. here, right? You'd, otherwise, you'd, if you were leaving those pieces in, you would have to join two sections of the film and kind of wrap around the, the trim piece. Or for example, the door handle, you would have a line going underneath. I see. And you would see kind of an, a, a circle around the edges. Um, so, so for people that don't want their car taken apart, that's an option. You can it is an option. You can have that seam and yeah. then have a seam there, which probably wouldn't be noticed as well. But yeah. on a Porsche, it's pretty easy to take apart, is it? Uh, yeah, we work on a lot of Porsches, so we're very familiar with them. Um, and also just the design of the, the door panels and other pieces. Um, they come apart really well. Uh, there's Some car manufacturers will use more plastic clips and things like that that'll wear out over time. Um, but these cars, generally there's some screws that you need to locate and then they have pretty ingenious ways of otherwise attaching them. So you can take them apart, put them back together, and if you do it properly, there's not going to be any additional rattles or anything like that to be and, worried and about. And what happens here? This gets folded, folded yeah. around to give protection to the edge of the door? Yeah, right. so instead of, instead of having the film end along the edge and then having an eighth of an inch gap that you could you know, notice and that might you know, yep. collect dirt over time, We'll leave an overlap on all these panels, and we'll actually tuck that, you know, quarter an inch or a half of an inch behind the panel. So when it's all finished up, like if you look at this fender here, where the uh, the fender meets the oh, door, see, yeah. you can see you can't you can't feel any edge of the film in that area. Yeah. So it's nice and uh, the the idea is we want to protect the car, but you don't want to be able to tell there's anything there. Very nice. So Dirk and his team went to work installing the paint protection film on my old man Gray McCann. The question I get a lot is why use paint protection film over say ceramic coating? Well ceramic coating has its place but it is just a thin liquid polymer. It can help keep your car clean, make your car easier to clean, keep stuff from settling on your car. It can also protect from very light liquid damage you know for a short time like a bird taking a dump on your pride and joy but that's as far as it goes. Paint protection film as you see here is a tough as elephant balls multi-layered self-healing urethane material that will protect you from pretty much everything even a fairly sizable rock stone chips chemical stains oxidization uv exposure you name it you might even remember back a year ago my 911 got hit on the highway by like a four inch bolt flying through the air which left a pretty decent sized dent on the hood but it was easily fixed because i had paint protection film uh, it completely saved the paint from any damage. And how much does it cost? Well, it depends on the size and complexity of the job, of course. So it can range anywhere from, say, as little as $1,000 right up to eight to $10,000 if you're doing every single surface on your priceless 2001 PT Cruiser. Okay, so you've wrapped the front. Yeah, we wrapped the full front end. So basically everything forward from the doors. Um, one of the things unique about the Macans is the clamshell hood makes them very challenging to uh, to wrap. I'm sure you can, you know, if you compare this to like a 911, this hood has a much more, um, you know, much larger curve to it. So there's no seam here. So you yeah. Do the whole thing, so oftentimes guys will use multiple pieces to make it a little bit easier to install this hood, um, but we've actually covered it in one complete seamless piece. Uh, it's much much more difficult that way, but it just gives you this really nice seamless. Uh, fit and finish. You're not going to see any lines in this area. Um, you know, all around the headlights and the edges of the panel, we've tucked them all in. Uh, it just comes out really clean doing it that way. Looking yeah. at the corners, you really around the hood tell. badge. So it's, it's actually folded in? Mm -hmm. Wow. So this, these are, um, on Porsche, these are just held in by a couple of uh, eight millimeter nuts. So we temporarily take those out and then install the film and then we can tuck it in and replace the badge afterwards. So. We just tucked all these edges nicely so that you know, you're not going to really notice that it's there. It also, it also, you know, keep it looking better over a longer period of time. If we look at the mirrors down the side, we've wrapped those, and that's all hand trimmed so that we, we get that really nice, uh, you know, precise uh, alignment of you, it. You just cannot tell. 
Yeah. And we've e even matched the edge of the film. If you look at the inside of these mirrors, there's actually a form line right. in the plastic from the factory when they, when they actually make the shape of the mirror. So you hand cut that? Yeah, this is all hand trimmed. Right. Wow. Yeah. If we look around the top edge here as well. So this is all just tucked here as well. Exactly. Yeah. We'll leave about a quarter of an inch. Or it depends on the, the body panel and the edge. Right. Um, all around the headlights. The headlights themselves have film on them to keep them from getting chipped up. But all around this, uh, right. this area has all been tucked behind. So the, this comes with a factory, the film, or you put the film? No, we put film oh, on the exactly headlights, right. yeah. Yep. Nice. Then through the bumper, we've taken the tow hook cover out. So that's actually been removed so that the bumper can actually tuck into there. Oh, I see. And we did use a pre-cut piece on the front bumper, but we do make, um, we do make some adjustments so that you know, we can get a really nice fit and finish. If you come over here, all around the uh, side marker here is all hand trimmed. You can get a preciser appearance that way, rolled the edges into the sides and up above. That's for the nose, and then down the sides of the car, we did just mainly a few wear and tear areas that you know absorb uh, some impacts, you know, just in, in daily life. Did behind the door handle cups. Oh, I see. So you can, you know, over time you can get those scratches if the yeah. car is dirty. A lot of wear and tear in that area. But so it's we put a nice piece in there. Here, so you can't even see it. Yeah, right. that's a that's a pre-cut piece that oh, we yeah. have specifically for that area. Oh yeah. And then inside the door jams, we can show you over here. I know you said Tui was gonna. Yeah. Possibly chew up the <laughs> chew up the paint in this yeah, area. Her, so her feet jump on yep. here. So that whole ledge there, oh, from yep. side to side, is, is protected. The front and the rear, and then we also did a similar application back here behind the trunk. Oh, okay, along here. So this whole this yes. whole ledge from side to side is is protected. So. Yeah, because that scratches up yep. on every car, doesn't it? Exactly. Edge. So when you're loading toasters in and out of the back, yeah, yeah. Why, it'll is, be... why is there a toaster in here? <laughs> so it'll keep it from getting scuffed. I was a little curious about that. Yeah, we're, we're all curious. <laughs> but overall, it came out really nice. I'm beautiful. super pleased with beautiful. it. Beautiful. Yeah, absolutely stunning in here, doesn't you'll it? You'll see when you'll see in some of the footage, it's quite quite the amount of manpower to get the the, the film uh, stretched over that hood nicely. Yeah. Wow, thank you very much, this is awesome. Yeah, no, thank you. So that's a bit of background on paint protection film, how it goes on. It has really come leaps and bounds over the last few years. It is an amazing product that should last the life of your car. And a big shout out to Dirk and his team at Darien Detail. What a bunch of OCD perfectionists they are. Arguably the most professional paint protection film installers in the New England area. So yeah, give them a shout if you're looking to have this product put on your car. I can't recommend it enough. It has saved me so many times. So I'll leave a link to Darien Detail in the, uh, in the description below. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below or email me directly. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next one. Bye then.